It's common that vegetarians and vegans have a harder time getting their daily protein intake. So if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, some of the foods I mentioned in this video might be a good idea to add to your daily food intake in order to increase your protein and help with muscle building and fat loss. But of course, if you're not a vegan or not a vegetarian, some of these foods are also going to be beneficial to you. In past videos, I've talked about how to hit your daily protein goal. And one of the tips I gave in that video, I'll link that in the description below, is that combining multiple high protein foods together in one meal will help increase the overall protein intake of that meal as well as over your entire day. So even if you eat chicken or you eat meat like myself, you might wanna start adding some of these high protein vegetables or other vegetarian foods into your meals to help increase the overall protein value of your meals. Okay, as always, we're gonna get right into it, but if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that bell so you get a notification when I release a new video just like this one every single week. My name's Michelle Roots, kinesiologist, personal trainer, nutrition coach, fitness and fat loss motivation specialist, and mama of two beautiful baby boys. I have over 16 years experience helping people decrease body fat, increase lean muscle, and become the strongest and healthiest versions of themselves and I created this channel to help you as well. So of course, if you find this video helpful, make sure you give it a like so I know that you guys are still enjoying the content. Leave me any questions in the comments below. I'm always happy to help. Okay, I wanna get right into these 20 high protein vegetables and vegetarian friendly foods, but I just wanna note that I'm not gonna talk about the value of protein, why you should be eating protein, how it's gonna help you on your fat loss journey, how much protein you should be eating every day. I have a bunch of other videos already on my channel. I'll link them all in the description below if you wanna go check those out next to learn more about protein. Let's get right into the list. I'm gonna start with the high protein vegetables and then we'll work our way down the list into the high protein vegetarian friendly foods. Number one, black beans and lima beans. Both of these beans are not only loaded with fiber and if you wanna know how fiber can help you on your fat loss journey, I have a video talking all about that as well. I'll link that in the description below. But you are gonna get about seven grams of protein in half a cup of cooked black beans or cooked lima beans. If you were maybe making a salad and you've already got chicken on the salad, you're gonna increase the overall protein value of that meal by another seven grams. Number two, surprisingly, spinach you are gonna get about five grams of protein per one cup of cooked spinach. Super easy to throw in pretty much anything. I scramble spinach with my eggs. I throw it in my protein shakes because you can't taste it. And not only is it a superfood loaded with so many micronutrients, you're gonna get an extra five grams per one cup of cooked spinach. Number three, soybean sprouts. 9.2 grams of protein per cup. This is something that is so easy to just throw into a stir fry to increase the overall protein value of your meal. Number four, green peas about 8.6 grams of protein per cup of cooked green peas. Remember your mom always telling you to eat your peas and you never wanted to. Maybe mom didn't know that they were high in protein, but they are and they're so nutritious. So that's another great option. Number five, asparagus. Not only are they super low in calories and loaded with a lot of micronutrients, so perfect if you are eating in a calorie deficit, you're also gonna get about 4.3 grams of protein per cup of cooked asparagus. Number six, broccoli, about 3.7 grams per cup of cooked broccoli. They're a great side to any meal or just eat them raw, dip in hummus, dip in ranch, whatever you prefer. Number seven, Brussels sprouts, about four grams of protein per cup of cooked Brussels sprouts. Number eight, potatoes and sweet potatoes, about four grams of protein per cup of cooked white potato and sweet potato. Don't worry, they are not evil carbs. They are very nutritious and healthy for you and great fuel for your body and getting an extra little boost of protein from them as well. Number nine, artichokes, about 4.8 grams of protein per cup of cooked artichokes. Number 10, kale, about three and a half grams of protein per cup of cooked kale. Just like spinach, throw it in smoothies, throw it in stir fries. Another great way to get a nutrition boost as well as a little protein boost. High protein, vegetarian friendly food, number 11, edamame. About 18 grams of protein per half a cup of cooked edamame. Often out of laziness, I buy the bag of frozen shelled edamame so I don't have to sit and take them all out of their little shell. So they're super easy to throw in the air fryer or boil and then throw those into salads and rice bowls again to get that protein boost. Number 12, tempeh. About 16 grams of protein per three ounces. So a great way to get your protein intake, especially if you are vegetarian or vegan and don't eat meat. And if you don't know what to do with it or what kind of recipes, just do a quick Google search here on YouTube. That's what I personally do. Healthy tempeh recipes and there's a whole bunch that come up. But of course, 
Leave any of your favorite tempeh links or recipes in the comments below. Let's help each other out and see what kind of things we can make to increase our protein intake. Number 13, tofu, about eight to 15 grams per three ounces. You can pan fry it, saute it, throw it in a stir fry again with some edamame or some of the vegetables I've already mentioned in this video, and you've got a protein packed meal. Number 14, lentils, about nine grams of protein per half a cup of lentils. They are also very low in calories, but very high in fiber, perfect to make with soups, side dish, or even make lentil burgers. There's so many, again, different recipes. Just do a quick internet search and see what kind of things you can make with lentils and how you can incorporate them into your daily food intake. Number 15, peanuts or peanut butter. You're gonna get about seven grams of protein per quarter cup of peanuts or about two tablespoons of peanut butter. Now I'm not talking the Jif sugar loaded, chemical loaded peanut butter. I'm talking about the natural peanut butter. So when you look on the ingredient list, it says ingredients, peanuts, that's it. The one that's a bit oily and you have to stir it, much better for you and only one ingredient. Number 16, wild rice. About six and a half grams of protein per one cup of wild rice. Number 17, chickpeas. About six grams of protein per half a cup of chickpeas. Of course, we all know hummus is made out of chickpeas, a great way to add a little bit of protein to maybe a sandwich. Instead of using mayo, you can spread some hummus on there. And just like edamame, I like to throw chickpeas in the air fryer and add them into salads or just eat them straight out of the air fryer. Number 18, almonds. Six grams of protein per about a quarter cup serving and two tablespoons of almond butter is about eight grams of protein. Again, the natural almond butter, not the one with all the sugar and everything. Ingredients, almonds, that's it. Number 19, chia seeds. Six grams of protein per two tablespoons of chia seeds. Great to throw into yogurt, throw into a smoothie, throw into a salad. You can literally put them in anything. They usually dissolve in liquid so you won't even taste them. You can also throw chia seeds in overnight oats. Again, just a nutrient boost and a protein boost for whatever meal you're having. And last but not least, number 20, steel cut oats. Five grams of protein in about a quarter cup of dry steel cut oats. So say if you're having about the average serving of about half a cup of steel cut oats, you're gonna get about 10 grams of protein. They can also be used in recipes for homemade protein bars and homemade cookies for a healthier alternative to store-bought versions. So there you go, guys. Those are my top 20 high-protein vegetables slash vegetarian foods that you might wanna start adding into your daily routine, whether you're a vegetarian or not, to increase your daily protein intake. If you're looking for more information about my personalized one-on-one -on -one fitness and nutrition coaching, I'll put a link in the description below as to where you can find out more about working with me one-on-one -on -one to reach your fat loss goals. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, I hope this video was really helpful. Make sure you give it a like. Again, if you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Let us know what are your favorite foods to get your daily protein intake in the comments below. Let's get the conversation going and help each other out. And I will see you guys next week.